if you're living in the UK, then it can't have escaped your attention that we have a general election coming up in a few weeks. And I guess you, most of you will probably fall into one of two camps. Either you are totally fed up with all the talk of the election or else you can't get enough of it. When it comes to knowing how to vote, the, um, the Bible doesn't give us any direct guidance. You can't look up a verse which will say vote Labour or vote Conservative or vote Lib Dem. Um, and certainly the New Testament was written within a context where most of the uh, those reading and writing the New Testament, uh, the idea of free and fair elections where you get to choose your leaders was a, fo- a totally um, alien concept. Um, but some of the issues I looked up on the internet, the main issues that people are concerned about at the moment in terms of the upcoming election are the cost of living, health, uh, the economy in general, immigration and asylum and the environment and climate change. And those are certainly issues that the Bible does have a lot to say on. The Bible has a lot to say on the way that we think about and the way that we treat the the poor and uh, the sick and uh, the foreigner. And uh, in terms of creation care, the Bible has uh, lots to say. And so uh, we can certainly as Christians, we can explore the issues from a biblical perspective and their and then uh, prayerfully consider who we should vote for.